So today plan is to go around the Tantalus Loop and make it to the top of the actual Tantalus Peak, Hawaiian name Puupia. So this is one of the trail running routes where all the trail runners comes out to train for the big Hurt 100 race, which is organized in every January. So it's a fun runnable loop. So my plan is to run in a figure eight, start uh, right here at Na uh, Nature Center and uh, I'm gonna go up Hawks Back, cross over the valley and Mehuina Trail, from there cross to Kalawahine, Manoa Cliffs and make a nice loop back to the Nature Center. It probably sounds pretty confusing and actually it is pretty confusing. This trail system, it's first couple of times when you come out might be a little bit confusing, but when you learn all the junctions and trail names, it would be much easier. And I will guide you through, guys, all the junctions. So this is the first trail junction. And here I'm gonna take right to do it counterclockwise the trail and I'm gonna use Mauna Laha trail which is actually hogs back so this segment here hogs back it's probably the steeper and most technical part of the whole trail. It's kind of fun to run down on it. Going up is not as much fun, but you know, you have to really watch out for all the routes and everything. So after like a mile hiking up uh, hogs back, you get to this three way, four way, I don't even know, one, two, three, four way intersection and then you can go down Walaka Trail, but that's not our plan. This takes you back to the lookout. And this one, this is our way back here. Both of them are the Makiki Valley Trail. So we're gonna go down there, cross to the other side and make a Form 8. All right, from here you can enjoy some downhill, finally. Ooh, this feels good. Alright, so another intersection we came up, Kanealole Trail, which mostly known as Pipes, goes down that, takes you back to Nature Center, and we're gonna continue Makiki Valley Trail up that way. And now, if you are not confused yet, there's another intersection, Nahuina Trail, which one goes up to Kalawahine. <laughs> so we get to the road section where actually you have to walk a little bit of this road. But then you can see already Tantalus right up there. So if you're really looking for an easy way up Mount Tantalus, the easiest way to get up, right here, concrete hill. It's just a nice elevated concrete hill and you're basically on top of Tantalus. You park your car on the side of the road and that's it. But why would you want to do that? It's more fun to run around, yeah? So instead of taking concrete hill, we're gonna take Kalawahine Trail, which is one of my favorite ones. Last time I ran this loop was uh, in January at the Hurt 100 where I have my friend Sergio running one of uh, 20 miler section of the race and that was fun, that was a fun 
five hour night run in the jungle. It was really amazing. <laughs> so actually my friend Justin, who just uh, ran two years ago, the Hurt 100 mile race, he stopped every loop and the 10 pull-ups right here so I'm gonna do for you man five maybe we arrived to Manoa Cliff Trail Junction and we wanna take it up to the top and from there we gonna go right away to Tantalus if you take this one, this trail down, you will continue Kalavahine trail and you're gonna end up Power Flats. Okay, we got to the intersection to Tantalus and I just realized like, this whole trip instead of Puo Hia I said Pu Pia which is a totally different peak in Manoa Valley so Tantalus is Puo Hia <laughs> all right let's get to the top We got to the pavement part, which is not my favorite thing here, but if you want to get to Tantalus, you have to deal with this too, so it's not that long. Okay guys, this is top of Tantalus. You can see the beautiful Koalao mountains behind. It's not a bad view. Yeah, even if it's hard to believe, but Tantalus made it to the first 100 highest peaks in Hawaii. Actually, it's in the 92nd place, with just barely over 2,000 feet elevation. So yeah, this is one of the easy ones you can do anytime. Manoa cliff down here. So actually this is where Manoa cliff trail ends, right at the road. And then we start Moleka trail. I just passed the four-way intersection, the top of Hogsback Trail, and if you really wanna do the, the whole loop, you wanna go and run again the Makiki Valley Trail connector and go down the other side, pipes. But I decided to come down again Hogsback because I wanna test out my new Ultra shoes on a technical terrain downhill. So, see you guys on the bottom. Okay, that was fun. I kind of like this shoe. I think downhill definitely much better than my Salomon. I don't feel my toes hitting the front of the shoe, which is pretty awesome. If you enjoyed this video, just give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this kind of adventures, just subscribe to my channel. And see you guys next time. Aloha.